Hi, I am Roxana from the VP State team and in this video I will show how to import the Maldives demo. On this domain I have already installed the team and all the team included plugins. And before starting with the demo import I will need to activate my theme. Here I will need to add the Team Forest username and the purchase code. Once you added your details you will need to check the consent box and click register license. My theme is now activated. I will refresh the page. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the SVG icons from the demo to be imported along with the demo content, the SVG support plugin will need to be installed. The SVG support plugin is one of the theme included plugins. You will need to make sure just that you have it installed in your site and now you can proceed with the demo import. For that you will need to go to VP Rentals options, import demo. Here you will have all team included demos. You need to be aware that you can import only one demo at once. So if you already imported a demo and you change your mind, you will need to clear database and after import the new demo. Also if you decide to clear database to import a new demo, you will need first to deregister your license. For that you will need to go to VP Rentals license and click deactivate license. I will go back to the import section. I will look for the Maldives demo. This is the one. I will click import demo, continue and import and I will wait for the content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo is complete. I will click visit site. The Maldives demo content was imported and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will go back to admin and first I will set permalinks correctly. For that I will go to settings permalinks. I will select postname and save changes. Next I will show a quick overview over the available team options. You will need to go to VP Rentals options. Start with general and replace the demo settings with your own. You will need to check each section. In general, you can change your country, measurement unit and the other settings. In logos and favicons, you will need to replace the demo logo with your own. In booking settings, you can make the settings that apply to your business. You can select the booking type. You can choose between day, hour or mixed booking. You can select the weekend days and make other settings. In social and contact, you you will need to replace the demo contact details with your own. You will need to add your company address, name and contact details. In social accounts you can add your accounts. You can enable social login and you can enable Twitter login. In map section you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can choose OpenStreet which is a free system or select Google Maps and in this case you will need to create and add in the team a Google Maps API key. In listing page section you can manage the listing pages layout. You can select the type. You will have a layout manager available and have other settings. In design you can manage colors, you can manage the design settings for cards and make other settings. In email management you can set the text of the notifications that will be sent from your site and you can make other settings. In payments and submit you will have the option to set the fields that will be displayed in the front end submission form. You can choose the type of submission that you want for your site. You can set it to no to have free submission or you can charge owners per listing or with membership packages. In the same section you can also set payment methods. You can use PayPal, Stripe or enable WooCommerce and use any payment add-on from the plugin. Also under booking payment options you can set the deposit fee and the service fee values. In search section you can manage the options available for the team advanced search. You can enable the multi selection option. You can select the search type and make other settings. And in the SMS management section you can enable the SMS service that will be powered by Tulio. This was just a quick overview. You need to check each option and set it to fit your business. I will go back on front end. Here in the home page the details were imported but you'll have two sections in the page. This one and this one that will require manual adjustments. These sections were created with listing categories and since on import 
the categories ID is not the same, you will need to manually check the section to have categories assigned and upload images manually to each category used in the section. First, I will show how the sections were created. For that, I will go to the Elementor editor. I will scroll down to the first section. Here we use the VP Rentals categories list. Only two categories were saved from the import. I will need to manually select the rest of them. You will need to click here and select the categories that you want to display on front end. I will go to the second section as well. Here we use the VP Rentals categories slider. Here the demo categories were saved. I will save the changes made. And next I will need to manually upload an image to each category used in these two sections. For that I will go to admin. You will find the listing categories under listings. They are categories, what do you rent, city, neighborhood, features and amenities, and property status. I will select first categories. To upload an image you will need to to edit the category, press the upload image button. You can select an image from media or upload one from your device. I will upload an image from my device, so I will click select files. I will select the image and press open. I will click insert into post and update. I will go back on front end. I will refresh the page. And now the image that I just uploaded will show. I will go back to admin. Now I will edit neighborhood category. The steps are the same. You will need to edit the category, press the upload image button, select files, select the image and press open, insert into post and update. I will go back to front end and refresh the page. The image that I just uploaded will show here. Since the steps are exactly the same, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images. Now the home page shows as the one in our official demo. And these are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next I will show some quick guidelines on how to manage the sections on home page. So I will go back to the Elementor editor and I will start with the first section, which is the hero one. Here we created a header with image, text and a search form. The image was added as background image for this container. You can replace it with your own in style. Here you can delete the demo image and add your own. The text was created with the heading widget from Elementor and you can edit it. And the search was created with the search form builder and you will have the option to change the fields. And in style you can change colors and make other settings. In the next section, we created a section with listings. For that, we used the VP Rentals recent items listings with filters. This widget will show filters here and you can change them. The filters are the listing categories. You can change them here. You can select other categories as filters and you can change settings like text, icons. In content you can change the number of items that will show in the list and the number of items per row, but if grid option will be set to yes as we have it here, the number of cards per row will be calculated based on the value that you add in a unit minimum width option here. Also in show height data you will have these options that you can use to display or remove elements from the listing cards. Going to the next section, here we created a section for attractions. We created four containers with image and text. To change the image, you will need to select the container and in style you can replace the demo image. And the text was added over the image with the heading widget from element. You can change the title and you can add different links here. This needs to be done for each section. Going further, to the next section. Here we created a section with text and icons. For that we use the icon box widget from Elementor. You'll have the option to change the icon and the text. This needs to be done for each element that we added. Going to the next section, here we have a section created with listing categories, which I already explained. You will need to replace the categories here with your own. And for each category used, you will need to manually upload 
images. Next, you will have the testimonial section. For that, we use testimonial slider. You'll have the option to change text, add image, and make the settings that you want. Also, for this container, we have set a color as background color, and you can change it with your own by going to style, and this is the color that you need to change. Going further, you'll have the second section created with listing categories, and for this section as well, you will need to select here the category categories that you want to display on front end and manually upload images for the categories assigned. In the next section we have created a banner with an image text and a button. To change the image you will need to select the container, go to style and the image can be found in background overlay section. You can replace the image with your own. Also you can change the text and for the button we use the button widget from Elementor. You can change the text of the button and you can add your own link. And for the last section in the page, we created a section for blog posts. For that, we used the VP Rentals recent items widget. We set it to show articles. You can set this widget to display properties as well. You'll have the option to change the blog unit card. You'll have the option to set number of items and number of items per row. And also you can enable the grid option that will display cards based on the unit minimum with value selected here. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.